He told me it's a divine opportunity. Here is something interesting that the Lord showed me. God said he hid some things in the soil of Nassau. And I'm not talking about gifts. Nassau in a very few years, I believe it's going to be before three. But in a very few years, there will be the discovery of oil here. There will also be the discovery of certain types of, uh, of, 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 of jewel. It's going to be some mining that takes place. But God told me he buried some things in the soil of this island that he will not allow to be discovered by wicked men. Wicked men. So he told me concerning the government that the reason these resources had been hidden is because the nation did not acknowledge him though they call him. So he told me that he would release and reveal these resources. That's going to make a tremendous difference in the way things are done on this nation. I'm talking about literal, natural resources. You're going to find in certain places where there's going to be oil. There's going to be certain uh, people are going to come here from Africa. And I, I, I even I see already where people are coming from Asia because they're going to try to rape this this place of the things that are already un going on underground because they have suspicion they have suspicion as a matter of fact what the lord shows me is that several years ago men had started to find find it and then kind of pulled out but there's going to be a lot more than what you i mean un what he told me was that the sea was going to give up her wealth you're going to find that in the waters of this island, there are going to be natural resources that's going to make a difference. But God is not going to allow the, the sea to call for a resource up until the people he wants in office are there. Say, the, say amen. But I see where there is a brand new regime coming to every facet of the governmental sectors of this nation, starting with the church, going into politics. As a matter of fact, I prophesied to you is that, that there was a formation. Only thing I know right now is PLP and NOC or whatever, what is it? F and M. But there's another one coming. There is the formation of a brand new political regime. And it's going to be about three or four years before they get their muscle. But God's about to literally exhale on one that is not FNM and not PNP or whatever, but I saw a new breed arise. And I saw a new breed arise of young urban professionals that will run this party. And at first they're going to start very liberal, but then they're going to turn their eyes to the church. And like David was selected amidst their brothers, there is a new political party that in one season is going to be used of God to reverse the course of where this nation has gone. But I will go on record as a foreigner by saying it won't be POP or FNM. It's not going to be one, neither one of them. But it's going to be a new party. Now, I'm not saying that God can't use a man in those parties. Don't hear that. What I'm saying is that the prayers that most of you have prayed for how God wants to move the nation is going to come up through a David. A party better than both that exist. Now, and I prophesy that women will be on the helm of it. You will watch and you will see as that Deborah anointing leads Barak to battle through the politics of this nation. This nation has been accustomed to looking at a man for their direction, but I tell you, look at the Ministry of Education. Look at the Ministry of Tourism. You're going to find where God grows women in these sectors and pulls them into a round table and begins to develop a brand new party with a brand new sound with a brand new word and an agenda. And you will know this because one of the things, and this don't make no sense to me, one of the things people will criticize is their logo. You're going to find that the way they are marketed and the way they are branded comes under tremendous scrutiny in this nation. But I tell you as a prophet of God, the hand of the Lord will be upon them, excuse me, upon them to produce this next era of leadership in the Bahamas.
okay? You're going to, and, and they're going to be 40-year-olds. They're going to be those that are very, very young, but they're going to rally. They're going to bring uh, issues and, and uh, 